Okay. Hi, my friends. Today we have Professor E in the house, and you know, this interview is a few entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, and leaders to give you their advice and their inspiring stories. So, welcome to join. Can you tell a bit about yours? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I am a medical doctor from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I I brought and worked in public health as a pediatric advisor before coming here for my master's. Presently, I'm enrolled in London to so public health for development. Like I said, prior to that, I was working in an NGO back home in Nigeria, where I was ensuring that children were diagnosed early and they were started on drugs early as well. Okay, so what made you today and why are you doing what British government scores. So, what did you do? Okay, so I don't want to do that. But, maybe concern me as it's going to be something you have to do and you have very good universities. But, two, funding for the UK is when they are scholarships for the UK. So, having the Chief Minister Award makes even more, more interesting. And one of the things that made me okay, let me to you to stop the other level scholarship. Okay, so you mentioned easy thing because a lot of friends from anything you So what do you do think that you thought can you give like a specific advice for the children? Okay, for the thing the, the instructions given the very good. Mm. The application you know what's right. Interview what to write, you know, when you go to the interview, you know, to see, you know how to approach customs. Because I fulfill the different criteria for, for selection. Right from my application, my background experience, how I tied up my background experience with the priority areas given in Nigeria. Because there are some priority areas that I want to tie it up. And then a letter of work. Foundations from the people that I work with because not to advise the previous successful applicants for teaching and think about what do I write, how do I, they advise me as well. Make sure your experiences and what teaching requires, read instructions well, try to try to as well. So then, in the interview, the interview just asks you questions based on what is written for. I think that between those two and then, of course, everybody was the same thing, but you still have to require a bit of luck. Okay, okay. I, love, I love the post you share about how you ask people to do it. So let's suppose somebody watching now, please, kind of like doing the same thing that you did because so few of our scholars. So what do you think okay. you have to do? It helped, because they, they were able to, I gave them so. Yeah, I got from them. They told me what I should do in my statement, in my prison statement. And then, after I finished the statement, I sent it to them to help me read it and make any correction if anyone made a mistake. Yeah, and so, yes, so, yeah. Okay, lovely. So, my friends, you just ask for what I have, the idea also about, you know, my activity to make sure that we we do it now that I'm going to be at the first place. So, what about your sport? What are your sports people for? Oh, okay. So, one of the priority areas in Nigeria was infectious diseases. Now, like I said before, I'm a doctor. I'm a medical doctor. And I was working, even in the area I was working, I was working in health. I mean, my background experience as a medical doctor. Some of the challenges Nigeria is facing in, in with health issues and into one story. So, I mean, into the fact that the priority last evening is the infectious disease, and so that's what I did. So, you must mention about your fitness materials, even this about your leadership, you're getting it cheap. Okay, yes, yeah, so for leadership, you can define leadership. You have be a leader. It doesn't you don't have to be the president of the country. You don't have to be the government. Where you are, just be a leader. And in every life, we have the opportunity to become leaders. So, while working 
to Africa different from people's people. I got into the uh, non-governmental organization. I worked there for about four years. So I was able to initiate some new to help assist our patient within the hospital. That required demonstration of leadership. Just work with different people. You have to talk different communities together to say, hey, let me this. It is a workflow. It is the work to follow up, which was like that one way. And then when I was in the NGO, well, I was also in the NGO, was also continually interfacing with the government on that's government from Nigeria. What needs to be done? I was different places, and I was also demonstrating leadership. You can demonstrate leadership at your smaller if you are called upon to interface with the government, you can also demonstrate leadership. Okay, about their leadership. Can you have any advice on that thing? Yes, that's, that's what I said. Wherever you work, you can demonstrate leadership there. It can be something as simple as, let's say, for instance, is a organization, or the person works as a front desk officer in an organization. And then he or she notices that the work, the, there are too many letters coming in. But something simple as, okay, let me open a log, a business log. And then let's, yes, let alone. And then let us track each letter, the coming, the time of processing, the time it takes for the letters to come out. That is something that is demonstrating leadership, also being innovative, even in a very small <laughs> role. I yeah. love that one. Yeah. So the idea is that you actually hear you can like work and you do it well. You can finish yes. like a check that patterns because similar way, but then they will want to. Get to and never ever underestimate whatever you've been doing exactly yeah okay lovely so what about networking can you share about the way you can cultivate that networking experience okay the thing with networking is you have to be open to people i mean i know some people are more like introverts and some people How can are you be open let's talk about that let me put it this way now i i usually i'm both I know I'm both an introvert and an extrovert. A lot of people don't believe I'm an introvert as well. They think I'm just an extrovert. No, I prefer to be alone. I prefer my own company. But what I do is well, I try to connect with people who are And I don't know much. I mean, I have diverse interests. So the person may be reading a book and then I would ask about the book and then we'll start talking. The person will be talking about favorite color and we we'll start talking. I mean, I just find somewhere where we can... Sometimes we can bond over a couple of well. So I look for something that is... A common interest for both of us, and then we take it away. I love the point you say. Okay, this pair you say, I will gather in the house, just like you. And you said, the, yeah, try to find a common interest. So, how can you embrace that conversation to me? So you go anywhere, not like you a particular meeting. So, how can you. No, no, okay, no, no, no. But most times, I do it within structured settings, right? So, I, I can do, either do it in a meeting. Or someone comes into my office and then I've never met this person before. The person has come to meet someone else. I can go out from the person. Yeah, those are the things that I do. Those are the things that I actually do. Okay, asking questions, right? Ask people. People will love to talk about themselves. So, you know, but so what about we're talking about the time that you get to the interview and you mentioned one point that basically the interview, verbal interview, is somehow to just tell about the situation at the time when you get the interview can you have any advice for okay future what i'll tell you to the interview be confident when i went how can you be confident wait when i went in i wasn't the most confident person to see <laughs> but i think one of the ways people can develop confidence is part of it is when start talking to people generally in the process of talking to different people you actually develop a kind of confidence even if i if i have butterflies in my belly I can still be, <laughs> yes, I can still be, that's the truth. Okay. Yeah. So, I can still be coherent, yeah. Can you share about, like, how can you cultivate that confidence? Yeah, you yeah, said you put that, your there, right? you put what, there, yeah. That's what I, like, it comes from everyday life. It comes from everyday life. In all the places I work in, I always look for opportunities to present to a larger group. Of course, the role most important. 
everything to, to some of my colleagues. And so, you know, it, it builds with time. But some of those things build time. You know, when you present every Monday to your colleagues at work, then it gives you a certain amount of, you improve on your presentations, you improve on your interview skills over time. That's one way. That's one way of going into the interview. And then number two is that you wrote about yourself. You wrote your statement. The questions you are going to be asked will be based on what you wrote in your statement. More than panel. Ah, I love this one. The people on the panel are only trying to, in a way, in a statement, is what they are looking for. So look at it from that angle and go in there, and then you'll probably be more confident that, hey, you can do it. Alright, so thank you for sharing about the criticism that you got now, and asking and talking to people, and he called me to disappear, and now you have the reason here. What are you talking about the statement? You, you actually share with people and you, how, how would like, you have any like, questions within the interview that you found really surprised and can you share about that? Okay, so my statement, when I'm writing my statement, I sent it to some of the group for me and they were able to give me a good feedback and say, okay, well, to work on this part of the statement, rephrase this part, change, do this, you know, so they just gave me advice on how to modify my statement to make it really sound nice to bring out my course okay. that's one and then for the interview before you go for the interview i would advise anybody to read a statement again because okay. most of the questions from the interview will be and, so and then you wrote it like a long time ago maybe you forget what did you so, yeah. try and you might but you keep a copy it's always tell you any form you feel always have a copy of your own anything write it yeah. statement keep it and look at it yeah Okay, I love that sharing. So, my friends, make sure when you submit, you have a copy for yourself. And make sure that you kind of like refresh it to make sure that you know when you send up, you should have the interview record. Cool. It's similar in any kind of thing in life. We need to revisit whatever we've done and then we hope you know, be ourselves. And you mentioned nobody know you better than you. Nobody knows yes. better than ourselves. So how can yes. you know yourself? Yeah. How can you have the self and it comes from just reflecting on your own life, being friends with people that will also sharpen the wood who are not afraid to give you feedback. And, and it comes from you just taking it, no matter how good or how plant it is from people. Yeah. Oh, I love that one you said. The reflection is one of the good ways. So my friend, I'm talking about reflection every week, like Sunday today, just do it. Or maybe every single day you can have small screen. Yeah. Beautiful that that's actually research has shown that literature is good for actually we, we develop our centers. So what yeah. the point you mentioned about sh- the friends who can sharpen you? I love that one. So how can you be a feedback? Because a lot of people like they love to grow but they scare feedback and judgment. Can you about how can you deal with that? Okay. What are that? Isolate what the person is saying and ignore the way it is. I mean, some people are really, really terrible in the way they will give you a feedback. Some people are oh, telling you, oh my God. I mean, all you have to do is just to look at it, look at the parts that were not so good, and then all the parts that were good, just leave it alone. You just have to have an open mind, really. And then you have to really know what people are criticizing you for, so that you can work with it. Beautiful. You mentioned about, like, we, we actually have to we're human, we cannot like, you know, whatever, we just excel every day and we open to learn and develop. And how, how can you find these people, the people can share? Okay, they are your regular friends, they are your colleagues at work, they are your, they are people you meet, you don't need to go look for them anyway, no? Talk to people at work, they are your super bad. Do we have any special network that you belong to and they uh, can help you? No, there's no special network, just colleagues at work, your supervisors, your unions. Can be a thing. Yeah. Just need to be open. And, uh, yeah, right. So, can you just share about your motivation? What achievement scholarship journey will help you in your long journey? Okay, so yes. My motivation. Please, can you just repeat the statement? Just repeat. Oh, you're reading your statement. <laughs> I'm not. Just repeat. I said, repeat what you said. 
sorry. Uh, can you share me and how that appears to contribute to your own life journey? Okay, so evening, evening is one of the big evening is really prestigious. Mm. It is very prestigious relationship. It, it opens to you a network of excel, excellent people, people who are leaders in their own different fields. You know, and then you meet different people. So going back home, what I've learned from my school, what I've learned from my fellowness. And then I would apply all that going back home. And I would also keep in touch. It's been, they come with different skills, different experiences, different mindsets that can help me to develop my country when I go back to my country. Yeah. So, can you share your vision and how can you achieve your you know, vision that the other people and what is your plan, action plan to make it happen? Okay. So, my vision is really to help improve the quality of healthcare in Nigeria. And I would do that now. I would, I would either. So, some of the things I would try and do is to put the political research coming. Now, I'll like about that. Wherever I find myself working, one of the things I would do is to be documenting the successes that we have, anything that we do, so that we can publish them. That's one. I would also be engaging with the political process, either as a actor myself or as someone who work on how to improve the issues. As long as we have good leadership, some other things. And really happen. Okay, so I how can you make the best out of human appearance and uh, it can help you to achieve your vision? Oh, okay. With Chivin, Chivin has many opportunities for people to experience the UK. There are many events, you have your fellow scholars. So, Chivin also has many official events. Chivin also encourages scholars to organize events. And then Chivin and then children scholars can follow themselves also and explore the opportunities well try and take advantage of those opportunities well and you would really really experience children to the full mm. so you mentioned like uh, there's different kind of food here, you know or is that how can you have kind of like you know people call balance which is studying or doing the other stuff like events traveling can you share about that well, balance comes from knowing yourself, how do you study well, everybody knows how to study well, you know, and then there are always gaps in the academic calendar where you don't have to really be studying, there are breaks in between, just on my head, you can't be balanced out, you can balance out anything, you can balance out, yeah. So, so what I would say, people should know, people should know, people should know their study habits, they should know their reading habits, they should also look at the academic calendars and see I'll be in play and work. I love what you share about your own habits, uh, the way you work quickly and then uh, the academic one. And you find and you you still like to be busy with your decision, you still join us today. Thank you. You put in your camera. <laughs> so can you share about your one thing that you think that you learned and it's like gonna be helpful as you do here? What one thing I learned? Yes. From that one year you Oh, okay. One thing I like is that typically things any information you get. Don't just take any information like that. Look, it. is it really accurate? There are so many things that sound really accurate out there. When you look at it critically, you, you discover they are not really accurate. Yeah. Do you have any special example of that interesting point? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the idea is that we need to really evaluate, and I just say, get the information from the why we need to hit the author to make sure that's not only one person saying it. It's so beautiful, my friend. Yeah. Uh, right. So, can you also share about yeah, what would be your habit of reading and any kind of reading? Actually, have you even as better person? Yeah, I don't know. I've always liked reading, so it depends on everybody. Really. Oh. Yeah, I think it depends on everybody. Oh. Some people. Inspirational books that you want to share. People don't like reading. Some people. Yeah, so I think it depends on people. I think reading habits. I depend on people. Ah, so, can you share the inspirational shots for you when you feel down to be motivated? What do you do? Read, listen, or Oh, I mean, look, I just walk around London and then I get, I get inspired. Are you not in London? No, I'm in London. That's it. So, I just walk around then. What about before you come to the UK? When you had oh, what, 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 oh, I used to walk around. But I just walk around London. It was difficult to be done. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I love that. 
Did you find a way that you feel like you can get inspired again? Huh? Okay, so uh, we will be talking about also like you know when you go back to a country, what do you think? What would be the one big challenge for you? And how we want to deal with that? I mean, I've been away for years, so going back home is a big challenge. Really, really big challenge. Yeah, I'm proud. Okay. So, can you just share the last question for our friend? Yeah, we if there's one thing you think that you have one idea, what would be the one thing? That what? The one that you want to share for your you know, before we end our interview. Apply for achieving cost them nothing. Applying for admission in the UK where the admissions are free. If you are interested, you should take a chance, apply. It may work out. And if it works out, it will probably be the best day of your life. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Thank you, Mate. And uh, I hope to see you in person, maybe in Nigeria or in. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye.